time with the starting and not starting. And up front, you got, especially at end, we have a lot of competition, especially between myself, Derek, Corey, uh, Daryl Taylor, Kyle. Um, it's not so much about starting, it's, it's more so about finishing the game. And um, we all just expect each other to go in whenever we're in, whether it's to start, middle, or end, um, to do our job and do it well. And so much of being uh, excited for the game. I remember my freshman year when they uh, getting the contracts and stuff ready for it, and it, it just seemed forever away, and that um, was game week. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Well, Troy, is it, is it unfair or fair for media and fans to say that Appalachian State was a, a wake-up call of some sort? I mean, I think everyone expected Tennessee to win by more points. Is, were those fair expectations, and how would you look at what happened in that game? I don't know if it's uh, for me to say if it's fair or unfair, but regardless, I think Appalachian State is a dang good football team. I, I think that's a team that's, that's geared to win nine, ten games this season, and I think it was good for us to face a, a very good opponent week one. LaTroy, you all were able to really kind of shut out Appalachian State the last three quarters um, as a defense. Did you notice a change in what Coach Shute did from the first quarter of the game to the rest of the way? First game of the season, is, it's the game of unknowns. And um, after the first half, I think Coach Shute got a, a really good feel for what they were trying to do. And he told us at halftime to say, hey, let's have a third quarter shutout, and we pride ourselves on that, and that's what we tried to accomplish, and we got done in the third and fourth.